Hey there, welcome back. Alex Line here, and today we're going to talk about symbolic convergence theory and how it may pertain to your group experience. So let's get into the details. So we got this theory from Ernest Borman. He first wrote about it in the Quarterly Journal of Speech in 1972. And he was interested in how communication helps create a group consciousness. That's where the group starts to identify and develop a shared identity. And this theory describes how groups' identities develop through what he called shared fantasies. So sharing a fantasy transforms a collection of individuals into a cohesive group with a culture and a group personality. And by the way, the word fantasy sometimes trips people up. It doesn't mean something that is pure fiction. A lot of times these stories are entirely accurate. It's just that as we, and based on reality, but it's just that we tell the stories in a way that take on fantastical elements. As we tell and retell stories, sometimes we exaggerate them and play them up a bit as part of the enjoyment of revisiting those stories. You have probably experienced little versions of this when you've had inside jokes with a group of people and you say a little joke, maybe just even a few words about it, and someone else that wasn't there when it happened doesn't understand and you're like, oh, you had to be there. Stories about the group's past often become these fantasies, these shared stories. And then when we're talking about the group's past experiences in only a way that those inside members would quote get, you're probably getting into something that would be called a fantasy theme. So let's look at the next concept called fantasy. And again, these are grounded reality and real events, but sometimes we play them up. So fantasies are creative and imaginative shared interpretations of real life events. Fantasies are usually told as stories that transport the group or provide a momentary escape. So we're doing our job and then someone brings up an old story and it's like a relief and a kind of entertainment for the group to collectively experience. Fantasies usually become a group interaction where various members jump in and participate to tell that story. So a fantasy theme is not me as somebody, as an individual, telling a story to the group. It becomes a collective story. So I might start it, someone else might jump in, someone else might finish it. It's a collective group telling of the story, a revisiting of something that happened in the past. And I want to make a note here that fantasies and these stories are not off topic necessarily or really a waste of time. In fact, they can create an important group cohesion, a kind of enjoyment, and they can even clarify what's important to the group and what you all stand for. So when I was in a band years ago, we had many fantasies, many collective stories that we would tell. Like I might just have to say to my brother who was the guitar player in the band, like, oh, remember that gig we did in Boston? And then everyone's like, oh my gosh. And we start to revisit all of those things that happened. Now we all know what, what happened. We were there, but telling the story again in a collective way rebinds the group together and reminds us of where we have come from. There are a few other important concepts and one of them is called a fantasy theme. And those are the stories that get told and retold over time. So those are the ones that, that come up over and over again. And you may have experienced this when you go to hang out with some old friends, people will tell the old stories. They just have a way of working their way into the conversation and everybody starts to chime in. There's also something called a fantasy chain, and that's where you have a string of these small stories that have a common thread, and they become almost like a real Hollywood or book story where they have this beginning, middle, and end. There's conflict, heroes, villains, and a plot. And you usually will notice this when someone starts one story, and you almost know that it's going to lead into another related story that leads into another related story, and that's a fantasy chain. What I think really helps you see these, and you know your quote, you're there, when you have a symbolic cue. And that's a key word, or a phrase, or a gesture that triggers the fantasy theme. So like I mentioned, all I have to do in this, my old band, with my old bandmates and say, remember that gig in Boston? And that is the short little phrase, and instantly we all know exactly what you mean. I hung out with a group of friends through high school and a lot of college, and one of them had a challenging relationship. And when it didn't work out, he became miserable. And so as groups of guys often do, we would 
playfully make fun of him. And we used to imitate this scene from A Streetcar Named Desire where the actor is at the bottom of a fire escape and he's yelling up to the his girlfriend that he loved, Stella, Stella. So we, we kind of took that scene and played with it and we put his ex-girlfriend's name in there and I'll just, it's not her name, but I'll just pretend. We used to just be all hanging out and then someone would scream out all of a sudden, Kathy, Kathy. And, and my buddy would roll his eyes out, here we go. And everybody would jump in and retell the story of the ups and the downs of their relationship. And I'm telling you to this day, if I get together, with these friends, even though it's decades later and someone just pretends to yell out, Kathy, we are all instantly transported there. That one word is a symbolic cue that triggers that. And it really is a huge demonstration of the kind of group cohesion you have if the whole group recognizes that shared fantasy based upon that single word or phrase. So to me, this this symbolic convergence theory is a really interesting one. and and reminds me a lot of how I have interacted in groups, especially groups that I have been in for a while. So question of the day, what are your fantasy themes? What are your symbolic cues or triggers that you notice in your group of friends or people at work or groups that you have been in? I would love to hear your comments and your stories about your groups below, about those fantasy themes. And I look forward to reading them. So thanks and I will see you soon.